Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Invite the congregation to be seated, except for the presenters and Sean. Has he been selected in accordance with the canons of this church? And do you believe his manner of life to be suitable to the exercise of this ministry? Will you be loyal to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of Christ as this church has received them? And will you, in accordance with the canons of this church, Obey your bishop and other ministers who may have authority over you and your work. I am willing and ready to do so, and I solemnly declare that I do believe the Holy Scriptures of the Old and New Testaments to be the Word of God and to contain all things necessary to salvation. And I do solemnly engage to conform to the doctrine, discipline, and worship of the Episcopal Church. I invite the congregation to stand. Dear friends in Christ, you know the importance of this ministry and the weight of your responsibility in presenting Sean Rutledge for ordination to the sacred priesthood. Therefore, if any of you know any impediment or crime because of which we should not proceed, come forward now and make it known. Is it your will that Sean be ordained a priest Yes. Will you uphold him in this ministry? We will. And in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Oh. 
may cease, and that all may be one as you and the Father are one, we pray to you, O Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the mission of the church, that in faithful witness it may preach the gospel to the ends of the earth, we pray to you. A reading from Isaiah. In the year that King Isaiah died, I saw him sitting on a throne, 
high and lofty. Some of his robe was filled with seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots on the thresholds shook at the voices of those who called, and the house filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, 